we're in the Ballard neighborhood of Seattle. This is an industrial zone. It is the heart and soul of our maritime, our rail industry. And behind me is the BNSF Railway Ballard Rail Bridge. Really, this neighborhood, Magnolia and Ballard, grew up around the Ballard Locks and our rail bridge. It really helped move people and goods, and it has carried everything from A to Z. So the food that we eat, the clothes that we buy, cars, lumber, energy products, and just like freight, people move across this bridge every day and has since the bridge since inception back in the early 1900s. Amtrak moves from Portland up to Vancouver Bridge, Columbia, and also Sounder trains run across this bridge as well. This is the Baskill Bridge, and so the bridge goes up and down. So if there are large types of vessels moving through, it goes up and the vessels can go through safely and efficiently. It is more than a century old, and over the last 100 years, we have done great maintenance on it. We've done great inspections. It has served its time. The BNSF Ballard Bridge needs to be replaced because it is reaching the end of its useful life. So every bridge on the BNSF system is evaluated yearly with a comprehensive inspection, and this one is in the same boat. And what we're seeing now is an operational impact on the opening of the bridge. One of the counterweight trunnion bearings is starting to show signs of wear, and the signs are rapidly increasing since we just replaced this about eight to 10 years ago. We have a responsibility um, by law to open the bridge, and if that counterweight bearing were to fail, we could end up in a situation where the bridge cannot open, and that would have an impact either on the railroad or boaters or the commercial fishing industry. The bridge that we're looking at replacing it with is a lift span. The bridge would be a 448 foot lift span, double track, and it would open about 155 feet. BNSF takes a proactive approach to the permitting process. We are working with the U.S. Coast Guard and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers as well as all the local tribes in the area that will allow us to build this bridge in a manner that is environmentally conscious. We're taking all that input beforehand so that when we submit our permit application, it's full and complete. It will be a modern bridge, it will be up to modern standards, and it will still provide the same efficiency and safety that it always has for more than 100 years.